Chef Gabriel Lewis here, and today I'm showing you how to make my simple and delicious Atlantic salmon with arugula salad and avocado puree. We're gonna start by making our avocado puree. First, what you wanna do is take your avocado and your chef knife, the base of your knife, and rotate it around the avocado. This is gonna be the easiest way to open without cutting yourself. You twist, then take the base of your knife, hit the middle, and twist. Now you just take a spoon and scoop out the avocado pulp and it goes right in the blender. I've seen a lot of people, including myself, have avocado injuries, so this is the best way to prevent that. Next, you wanna go in with about a full lemon's worth of juice. I cut them off of the middle to make sure that we get no seeds in our blender. Next, we're about a quarter cup of olive oil or your favorite neutral oil. Uh, grape seed or avocado oil work great for this recipe. After that, just use about a tablespoon or so of honey and then we're going in with some fresh cracked black pepper. All there's left to do from there is to cap and blend. Now that everything's blended together, I like to take a spoon and check the consistency of my puree. Once I'm happy with it, it goes directly in the fridge until we're ready. But then we get to focus on our Atlantic salmon. We season very simply with kosher salt and black pepper. Season a little bit above your fish to make sure that that is properly and evenly distributed. Repeat the same process on the skin side, and then I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a chef's trick. I like to take the salmon and mop up the seasoning on each side of the unseasoned fish. This makes sure that every bite is delicious and perfectly seasoned. Now we're ready to cook. We go in a saute pan with some grapeseed oil, olive oil, or avocado oil, whatever choice you'd like. Once that's hot, place the fish away from you in the pan and apply a little pressure. This will get that crust started. We allow that to sear at an even temp for about two to two and a half minutes, getting that nice, beautiful crust starting to emerge. Then we flip our fish and add our aromatics. I like to go in with about two to three cloves of fresh garlic. That is going to give this fish a beautiful aroma. After that, I personally like to use two to three tablespoons of butter. And I know a lot of people are not fans of this much butter, so if you're not comfortable with that, use a vegetable substitute or even more oil. That'll allow your fish to stay beautifully crisp and moist. Now, I'm just gonna add some fresh rosemary from the garden out back. This has been properly cleaned and it's going to flavor our fish beautifully and allow that rosemary oil to permeate all the way through. Now, this is how we protect that crust and get our fish beautifully cooked. We're gonna baste in that flavored oil or fat for about a minute and a half to two minutes, evenly distributing the heat and flavor. Now our final component, our quick arugula salad. It's just some fresh arugula with fresh squeezed lemon juice and a fresh crack of black pepper. Once that's evenly tossed with a spoon, <laughs> then you're ready to plate. I like to start on a cutting board for presentation with about one to two tablespoons of that avocado puree. Then it's as simple as taking the back of your spoon and swiping. Next, we're gonna go down with our beautifully cooked Atlantic salmon filet. I put it on a paper towel to soak up any extra moisture or fat. Then we're gonna to top that with our beautifully dressed arugula salad. This is nice, simple, clean greens so that the flavors are bold and hold up to that meaty fish. After that's done, now it's just time to garnish with some fresh squeeze of lemon juice that's gonna accompany that fish perfectly and bind it to the arugula. And then I'm topping it with some garden fresh cilantro and just a simple crack of that fresh black pepper. And there we go. This is our super simple Atlantic salmon with avocado puree and arugula salad. 